South Australia Police boasts a proud history of providing excellent service to the community. While those men and women on the front line of operational policing face the inherent dangers of our profession, it takes the dedicated commitment and support from all members of the organisation to ensure the best possible service is provided to the South Australian community. It is the unique aspects of our profession that forms a strong police culture and fosters camaraderie amongst policing organisations right around the world. Today we take time from our regular duties to honour and remember police colleagues and comrades who have made the ultimate sacrifice in the execution of their duties. National Police Remembrance Day affords an opportunity to reflect upon those who have fallen, recalling their unquestionable dedication to our profession and to our communities. Throughout the history of South Australia, 61 police officers have lost their lives in the execution of their duty. Their deaths are a great loss to their families, the police family and to the South Australian community. As we gather around the nation on this day, we remember the police members from around Australia and the South West Pacific region who have died in the previous 12 months, protecting and serving their communities. Constable Rachel McCrow and Constable Matthew Arnold from Queensland Police, who both died on the 12th of December 2022 after being ambushed and shot at William Villa, Queensland, whilst performing their duties. Constable Anthony Woods from Western Australia Police, who died on the 11th of June 2023 after being run down at a traffic stop whilst performing his duty. Sergeant Terry Giwaya died on the 20th of July 2023, shot in the line of duty at Uro Bay, PNG, whilst searching for armed insurgents. We remember them in the following moments as we pay our tribute. <laughs> 